Hi to all, welcome to RAMS Android Tutorials. <coughs> in this video tutorial, <coughs> sorry, in this video tutorial, we will discuss how to work with the checkbox. So, till now, the examples we have discussed, previous example in Android Studio, the Android Studio is taking a lot of time, so it's killing my time to make a videos. So, that's why some more examples from now onwards, some more examples I want to discuss in the Eclipse, but you don't find any difference. Just uh, here the Java code and XML code, whatever I'm writing, just you create them in the Android Studio, remaining everything will be same. So I'm creating the project here. Project name I'm giving as a checkbox example. And selecting the minimum version is 4.0. Why? Because later we can change the version. Why? Because it's going to uh, give, me, give me every time the supporting package. Selecting empty activity, why? Because we don't want other templates. So, here project created. Now, I'm going to create a checkbox. So, for this checkbox, we, we, have, we are going to take the ID just checkbox and the name I'm taking as a check me. check me this is the user interface and you see the tag tag is checkbox I will come to the main activity now we need to call the reference for the checkbox first of all so checkbox uh, just will take as a checkbox equal to checkbox and find you by id or dot id dot checkbox now checkbox dot for the button we are using on click laser interface coming to the checkbox we have a two states one is checkered state another one is unchecked state so here to have an action of the check, checkered state and unchecked state we are going to use the interface for the checkbox called on checkered change listener interface so we are using this interface i am providing the implementation as an anonymous center type and the method and import the package. So the package we need to take from the compound button. So checkbox for the checkbox you are using the on checker change listener that you should use from the compound button. This is for the radio button. Finish. Now you see here in this method we have a boolean parameter that is is check. So if you check the checkbox this boolean variable will become true. If you uncheck the checkbox this boolean variable will be false. So that condition only we use here. So if is checked, this if condition is true, so that we can say toast dot make text get application context. So checkbox is checked and toast dot length underscore long dot show. And this will be for unchecked state. Same thing we are taking. And here we are saying this is unchecked. Let us see that output. So uh, <clears throat> this is my blog, you can visit this blog to get more Android code and more Android concepts from basic to advanced. And if you like my channel, you can subscribe my channel and you have any suggestions, just let me know in the comments, comment box below. Certain the emulator. and you see that output if you check the checkbox check it state and again you check the uh, you uncheck the checkbox you will see uncheck so that we are able to listen for two actions for two states one is checked state another one is unchecked state thank you for watching we will meet in the next video tutorial